My name is Ann Bauer, and I'm a centenarian. Uh, life in the Great Depression was not very easy. My family lived on a farm in North Dakota, and there were crop failures, there were terrible dust storms, and uh, when a farmer puts in a crop in the spring and it comes up about one inch and stays that way all summer long, you don't get any benefit from, from the crop. And so uh, it was just very hard to make a living uh, during those years. I was in high school during that time and um, living in a dormitory and the dust storms used to be so bad all over that by three o'clock in the afternoon, we had to turn the lights on to be able to see to study. It would be that dark. It's hard to believe that a dust storm can be that bad, but it just, we didn't see any sunshine at all. It was it's just dark. So those were not very good years. It was hard for the farmers in North Dakota to make a living and then it didn't rain. So all you have is dust blowing. You, uh, many of them lost their farms because year, this went on for more than one year. And uh, they, uh, when you don't have a crop, you don't have any money that you know you can sell what you've been working for. And, and, and uh, some of them lost their farms and had to move away. There was, it was a sad, sad thing, you know, that it happened that way because North Dakota has wonderful farmland, but they need rain. And when there was none, it didn't work. I started Cheyenne River Academy in 1930 and graduated in 1935. I went to the academy for two years, and the next two years, there was no money. So I kind of feel like maybe I wasted two years of my life because the local high school was 30 miles away and there was no way that, you know, I could go to the high school. So I just stayed home, helped with the chores, and hoped that next year would be better. And uh, that went on for two years until we finally got rain and there was a crop and I could go ahead and, and um, finish and I did not get to graduate with my class, which I have always <laughs> been sad about because uh, some of them, their parents had other jobs that they weren't on the farm and they could go ahead and finish and, and they were through and in college when I was still going back to get my high school diploma. <laughs> All the students that came most of them were from farms, so there wasn't that much money, but we had a principal. He visited every home personally, and uh, he would talk to the parents how together they could afford to have us come to school. And uh, if you had $50, he would, he says, we'll give them work to do this or that or another thing. One summer, I worked right at the academy because they planted a big garden. They grew their own vegetables and we, there were three of us girls that did the canning that summer, working up credits so we could stay in school. And, uh, uh, this is what the principal did. He vis visited every home and, and found out just how, how bad the needs were, but he wanted the young people to come in and get an education. So I finally graduated. <laughs> and I wanted to be a nurse, so the next thing was uh, Union College. That was our college in, in that uh, area. And uh, again, pre-nursing, 
if you had the money, you could take it, do it in one year and be accepted in a hospital wherever you wanted to go. But I had to take mine in two years because one year, my father, the first year, my father gave me a hundred dollars to go to college. The second year, I had only fifty dollars. So that meant working uh, many, many hours and uh, having enough credit built up so you could stay in school. When I was in the academy, I always worked in the kitchen, either cooking breakfast or cooking supper. And so uh, my parents brought me to Lincoln, Nebraska, and uh, we barely stopped at the girls' dorm. And here's one of my classmates from Shine River Academy coming <laughs> right there. And I was just so thrilled because I didn't know anybody. And here she was. And so she stopped and we talked and for a little bit. And she says to me, where are you going to be working? I said, I suppose the kitchen, because that's where I always worked when I was, uh, you know, at the academy. Oh, she said, uh, work in the laundry. They pay more. That's all I needed is they pay more. <laughs> and you know what the more was? 25 cents an hour, and because the kitchen paid less. And so uh, there was still an opening, and when I registered, I signed up for the laundry. And uh, that was a good decision. We had a terrific man that was the laundry boss, and Union College did commercial laundry, which they needed the little extra money, and they helped an awful lot of students get through school because uh, of the way he knew how to handle this and, and how he himself had a hard time getting through school, but he did, and so he knew exactly what we were all facing, and, uh, and he tried every, every way he could to see that that we could get the education we needed.